Here's another great example. You'll see the defensive end uh, to this side here, okay? Uh, they're going to read him, which means he's going to be unblocked. So if you're an unblocked C or D gap player, you are responsible for the quarterback, right? So here, uh, you know, Oregon's running the ball this way, and the quarterback is reading this defensive end. And if that defensive end turns his shoulders inside or goes inside, the quarterback is going to pull it. And now we'll have no one to defend the quarterback on the edge. Usually the receivers are going to run some kind of route concept that takes the DBs out of the way. And then if a DB comes up, they're going to be able to throw it behind us, okay? So you'll see here, the end does a great job. Keeps their shoulders square. Same as that last clip, but now we're on the line of scrimmage. Shoulders are square. Eyes are on the quarterback. And you see when the quarterback pulls it, they don't go to where the quarterback is. They go to where the quarterback's going. All right, and now, you know, obviously quarterback has to come back inside, back to the help, tackle well, all that good stuff. Okay, see here from the tight angle. Again, this is a great job. Anytime the running back is on our side, okay, we, we want to be thinking about this, right? Anytime the running back's on our side, we're going to, ass not assume, okay, but we know there's a really good chance that this tackle is going to step down, and whether it's our offense or any offense you watch, there's a good chance that that guy's going to get red. So, see here how he doesn't come up the field, okay? See here how he doesn't turn his shoulders inside, okay? His eyes are on the quarterback all the way, okay? He has that quarterback. If he comes up the field, it creates too big of a cutback lane. That's why he stays right on the line of scrimmage and then opens and runs to that spot, beat him to the spot that's perfectly played. This is a great example of playing a shuffle technique, which our edge players need to play uh, when they're unblocked. See 44 here. Okay, he's the quarterback player, right? He's squeezing down. It's actually the D gap for them, you know, but this could be in the C gap for us or the D gap if your player adds and you're the D gap player. Watch the quarterback. Okay, quarterback is looking at him, reading him. He's square. Okay, his shoulders are open to the end zone, which means if the quarterback pulls it, he's going to be able to play with leverage without flipping his feet. He's take. He's closing the space. Okay, but he's leading with that inside leg, so we can always drive off that inside leg, can okay, cut off the quarterback. Once the ball's given, now he can squeeze down and make this tackle when it cuts back. Here's another good example. You'll see 10. Now, here again, you got to be careful, and Oregon does such a good job of getting this zone to cut back, so you really see when this tackle steps down, 10's really trying to close that gap, but you cannot get out leverage. What saves him here is, he has his eyes in the right place. It's on the quarterback. Okay, he's not looking to see if the running back has the ball. He's looking to see if the quarterback has the ball. And that is a key mistake guys make when they play this technique. So we're shuffling down the line of scrimmage. We get our hand on the tackle. We close the cutback lane. This is great. He's really playing this as, a, as aggressively as you might want. Now, what you want to avoid here is two things. This two-foot hop. So see that two-foot hop, and now he's flat-footed. You see him have to kind of reset his feet and cross over. Ideally, if we're leading with our inside leg, we could plant and drive off that inside leg, okay, and attack on more of an angle. But if you look to see if the running back has or doesn't have the ball, even that subtle turn in your eyes and your shoulder is going to lead to him being out-leveraged here, okay? So he's able to, his eyes are on the quarterback. He recognizes the quarterback has the ball. If he's a little cleaner with his feet, he's going to be able to take you know, a better angle, but what he does here is he realizes, hey, I'm partially at leverage, and he comes flat down the line of scrimmage, right? So he's able to ultimately beat that quarterback to the spot. I know he gets some help, okay, but ultimately, you know, he's in position to be able to make this play. Three should be covering this, right? We don't want to give them that easy out. So three should be covering that, okay? Key coaching point, make sure that you're leading with your inside leg and that your eyes don't look to the running back to see if he has the ball. You confirm the, the give by looking at the quarterback.